Um, cats for me, um, you know, I guess I'm a crazy cat guy. Everyone talks about crazy cat ladies, but there's definitely crazy cat men out there also. What is it like being a cat dad? It's like having three toddlers that also have sharp teeth and claws and limitless energy. What kind of cats do you have? I have two bangles and one rescue. I have a brown bangle, Odin, a blue bangle, Luke, and a little black uh, witch cat, Freya. Um, I'm an archaeologist and a history buff, so uh, naturally I'm into Nordic mythology, so the three take their names from three different ancient Nordic gods. Is there a difference between cat people and dog people, and can you be both? There's definitely a difference between cat people and dog people. Uh, cat people generally accept that the cat is going to have its own will, and it won't always uh, <laughs> do what you want it to do, and they have to be okay with that. Uh, dog people generally, uh, dogs are wonderful, but they're always happy to see you and always uh, will listen to commands and whatnot. So I think, I think you can be both, but you have to kind of understand. And I think that certain personality types maybe are drawn to the one type of animal than the other. Tell me about Odin's personality. Odin is a king. He is extremely graceful and he knows his place in the universe and he thinks that he is naturally on top of that place. He is also a bit hyper and a bit of a daddy's boy. So he likes to be with me wherever I'm at. And I, he always is comfortable with me. Oh, get it, get it, get it. What is Luke like? Luke is a tank. He is extremely strong and... <laughs> Take Giovanni. two. No, Giovanni. But he also has a very soft side and he's very loving. Um, he's kind of like 15 pounds of pure muscle, but at the same time he likes to cuddle uh, in your lap if he knows you. So he's, uh, he's kind of a gentle giant. And what about Freya? Freya is very uh, shy, but over time since we rescued her, she's gotten used to being an indoor cat. And she has also um, gotten used to having people around and you're able to now interact with her and uh, have physical contact with her without her feeling threatened. And she's a real sweetheart. Anytime you come in, she she starts to blink her eyes at you, even if it's been an adjustment. Do you think that the stereotype is true that cats are not loving and loyal? No, definitely not. I think if anyone has experienced that, it's because they haven't taken time to get to know the cat. Uh, personally, I've never met a cat that at least with it and feel that uh, if I gave love and effort towards it, that it wasn't reciprocated. I don't know. I, I have a bond with at least my own cats that's very strong and they, they give to me more than I give to them. No matter how much I think that I give to them and try and provide for them, it seems like it's always given back even more to me in uh, love and in companionship. And uh, I, have a, I have a great relationship with my cats. I feel that I know them on a personal level and that they know my personality and they know my habits. And uh... So you're living temporarily with me and I have a bunch of cats. What is it like having so many cats under one roof? Uh, right now we have, how many is it, nine? 
So it's kind of like coming into a organized circus every day. It's clean and uh, everyone gets along, but it is busy and we have our moments of uh, fun and chaos. What am I like as a cat mom? As a cat mom, uh, the cat mom is very, very loyal and very um, driven and she runs this place with a softly gloved iron kitty fist. <laughs> uh, things need to be done properly and be clean and safe and she takes the utmost care that each one of the cats gets uh, its own personal needs met and also we try to uh, make sure that they jive well with each other and that all the all the cats get along kind of as a as a clan too. So tell me a little bit about your background with cats. Did you grow up with cats? Yeah, actually uh, we both did. Uh, growing up our grandmother was actually a Siamese uh, breeder, registered breeder and um, so we had several litters of Siamese uh, as we were growing up so we got used to having kittens and then we also then besides the kitters the, the litters that would come and go we had uh, the the mama kitty and the the papa kitty Rama and so those were early exposure to um, cats and then later on um, we, within our own household we had numerous Siamese and then later on uh, rescues and then after I moved to Sweden, uh, I also then got the cats that I have now. So I've basically had cats my entire life since I was very young and I'll probably have them till I die myself. And what does it mean to you having these cats in your life? Having these cats in my life is probably one of the biggest driving factors I have in my life actually to uh, not only take care of them but to take care of myself. I see them as family members and I have a responsibility for them. Um, each one of them from the time that I got them, whether I got them from a breeder or whether I got them from a rescue shelter, I made a commitment uh, to them that I would be there for them uh, their entire lives. So. Um, I take it very serious. They, they have a very big uh, role in my life.